Welcome to Vizcaya, James Deering's mansion estate on Biscayne Bay in Miami, Florida. This is a legendary estate that was built in the 1920s. Uh, obviously, James Deering had great wealth, and we're going to take a look inside of his mansion on our guided tour today. The Deering Estate, known as Vizcaya, is very similar to some of the grand estates and mansions that you will see in Palm Beach. There's usually a center courtyard, which of course is very Spanish, Mediterranean, or Moorish in its look. And then the rest of the rooms are built around the courtyard. Of course, you have arches because of the Moorish and Mediterranean influence. Elaborate bronze images embellish these carved doors in the foyer, and we also have a bust, a carved plaster bust. This is very palatial. It's almost like an Italian palazzo on Biscayne Bay. Look at these details, these cameos on the ceiling, an elaborate carving. Around the 1700s, okay. Very different from the entrance entrance hall, right? Which is very straight, very geometric lines. This one has curvy lines all over the place, and a lot of gold finishes. And that's exactly what the French Rococo period was all about. I want you to look up at the ceiling, and this is the first of the three ceilings that I mentioned to you that they bought in Europe from a home that was being taken apart in Venice, in the, the Veneto region, up up in the Venice area. And they took it down in nine pieces, borrowed over here, and put it back together like a jigsaw puzzle. Wow. And you can't even tell. It's a beautiful plaster ceiling. Also, please notice, now that you're looking up, at the beautiful chandelier in the center of the room. That chandelier, they also bought it in the same area. And it was candle lit when they bought it. It was electrified when they installed it here in Vizcaya. But they kept do come in here into the main living room of Vizcaya. It's, uh, we call it, or it's, he called it, the Renaissance room. It was designed after the Renaissance period, which is popular around the 14 to the 1600s. And of course, it was his favorite, as I mentioned to you. He, he fancied himself an explorer in reverse, and he loved that age of exploration. And so everything that you see here is designed to after that very uh, important period, the Renaissance period. And you see some And it covered the floor almost entirely from one end to the other. It's 27 feet long. Most of it is rolled up there. But it is so old and so valuable that they decided at one point that didn't want us to be walking on top of it. It does late date from the late 1400s. Wow. And it is called the Admiral Carpet because it was woven for a very famous admiral in the Castilian that was being taken apart. Not only the ceiling, but all the walls, all the panels came from that room in, in that home in Lombardy, Italy. And this room is decorated in the Italian Rococo period. Very exuberant, very richly decorated, okay? Very impressive. It's exactly what Mr. Green wanted. Even though the room was never used for music, it was just a beautiful gallery to impress the guest on their way to the dining room. So we're here in the first of the two dining rooms in Vizcaya. The other one is upstairs. It's called the breakfast room. This one is called the banquet room because this is where they did all their big entertainment. Upstairs is the breakfast room, and that's where Mr. Deering chose to have most of his meals upstairs. And it's a beautiful, another beautiful dining room that you'll just enjoy. Uh, it's one of my favorites. So this room is very different from the others because it doesn't really follow a very specific historic period. It draws from different from different periods. But it is a very important room, so much so that we have the most important item in the whole house. And that's that table right over there. The mythological creatures carved in stone that are the supports for that table are ancient. They date from the first century of the mythological god Mercury. Very valuable tapestries. Also, they're valuable because their previous owner was a famous poet by the name of Robert Browning, and he had a villa in Italy and they hung in his home at one time as well. I want
no, it's not Versailles, the King's Pleasure Palace, but it is Vizcaya, James Deering's magnificent estate on Biscayne Bay in Miami. These stunning Italian style gardens are formal, they're beautifully landscaped, and you could see very much Italian influenced. That was the goal when Vizcaya was built, to bring Europe to Miami. Over here we have his gorgeous palazzo or villa, filled with antiques, fine furnishings, and architectural elements from palaces and castles that have been brought back and assembled here. This is one of the handful of rock grottos that are tucked away and nestled on the formal grounds of Vizcaya in the garden. So let's step, step inside and take a look and you'll see the rock texture on the walls and it's dripping with stalactites or stalagmites. We have a little fountain here. It's just a nice little cozy hideaway. Here is the famous barge that was built, really it was built as a breakwater and you can see just like the poles in Venice, these are painted blue and gold which are the colors of the Venetian gondola poles. And out here we're overlooking Biscayne Bay, we have like a little landing pagoda and a little footbridge.